Welcome back. There was one. We're talking about one single winning ticket sold for last night's Powerball jackpot with more than a record two billion dollars. That ticket was sold at Joe's Service Center in Altadena. And we want to give you a look at the winning numbers. Just in case you're that person, they are 10, 33, 41, 47, 56. And that Powerball number, 10. Oh, boy. And while we don't yet know who the winner is, we do know they defied incredible odds in purchasing the only winning ticket. And to discuss those odds, joining us now is Long Beach State University Dean of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, Curtis Bennett. Dean Bennett, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us, what were the odds of a single ticket being sold for the Powerball drawing? So, so the, the odds of anybody winning was about one in 292 million. Um, but then it's about only about 60% of the time would have been just one ticket that would have been sold. That's assuming 300 million tickets were sold overall. It changes a little bit depending on what happens with that. Um, so you could say that the odds of getting it without having to split it is closer to one in 500 million. Wow. Well, if the winner chooses the lump sum payout, how much money are they walking away with? Well, so it isn't the whole one or two point oh four billion dollars, as I understand. It's going to be about nine hundred and ninety seven million dollars, roughly speaking. So still a healthy chunk of change. But <laughs> because the annuity value is figured in for the one point nine billion, it's not quite that much. Wow. Let's talk a little bit about what a person could do with that lump sum, even after taxes. Well, there's a lot that you could do. I mean, for me, I'd probably go on a European and world vacation, but you know, probably what they should do first is talk to an investment advisor to figure out where to store it so it's safe um, and not subject that, you know, the current interest rates aren't that great. And if you just invested it in a savings account, you might possibly do just as well to take the annuity, but they could do a lot of different things. Um, you know, travel the world would be my choice. <laughs> and maybe assume a new identity as well. But if the Probably. winner <laughs> invested that money, even in a simple high yield savings account, like you're talking, what kind of an annual return might that be? Well, it very really varies on what you're getting at the time. I mean, so right now with inflation fairly high, the rates have come up. And so you can probably get a slightly better account. I was doing a quick search on the web and finding some accounts at four and 5%. But the reason they tell you to not take the annuity is usually that you can do better than putting it in a savings account and you can do better than the shirt, but there's always risk when you do that. It seems like it's just so much money you could never run out unless you, you know, bought some crazy, amazing, you know, uh, yachts and planes and, you know, trains. You could really afford just about anything. I agree. You could pay off all sorts of loans and, you know, do wonderful things with that. So. You know, I think it's an amazing chance to opportunity to do some great things. Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, we are waiting to figure out who that winner was. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We certainly appreciate your time. Thank you very much.